Top 10 Celebrity Deaths That Never Happened Since the Virus Began Sickening People in China in 2019, there have been thousands of recorded deaths, and some of those people who died have been celebrities, performers, politicians, and the like. Joe Diffie Diffie announced through his publicist that he tested positive for COVID-19 on March 27. Z's for two days, and he died on March 29 at the age of 61. He passed away in Nashville, Tennessee, which is a city deeply rooted in the country music scene. Diffie is the first country music star to succumb to the disease, and his passing was noted by his peers with heartfelt posts on Twitter, Instagram, and other social media platforms. Floyd Cardo's Cardo's also held the honor of being a four-time James Beard Award nominee, and he was also the author of two cookbooks. Cardo's traveled from Mumbai to New York through Frankfurt in early March. He soon fell ill and tested positive for COVID-19. He died from complications of the virus on March 25 at a hospital in New Jersey. Cardo's was 59 years old at the time of his death. He leaves behind his wife business manager, Barca, and their two sons, Justin and Peter. Maria Mercator Mercator won an Emmy Award for her work as a producer, and she climbed the ranks at CBS to become the director of talent strategy in 2016. Her work there diversified the workplace and helped to facilitate more involvement with various minority groups, including the Asian American Journalists Association and many others. For more than two decades, Mercator fought cancer and other illnesses, and when she went to a hospital in New York City for treatment, she succumbed to COVID-19 at that location and passed away on March 29 at the age of 54. Terence McNally McNally's work spanned six decades, and they included Broadway plays, off-Broadway plays, films, and pretty much anything and everything he could get his hands on. He is probably best known for Kiss of the Spider Woman and Ragtime, though he wrote dozens of plays, operas, and theater pieces. His work is played around the world, and his passing was a blow to everyone who loves the theater. On March 24, he passed away following complications from COVID-19 in a hospital in Florida. He was 81 at the time of his passing. As Maria Teresa of Bourbon Parma she attended the Paris Sorbonne University, where she received a doctorate in Hispanic Studies. She followed this with another doctorate in political sociology from the Complutense University of Madrid. She was an activist in the areas of women's rights and other important matters. On March 27, Princess Maria Teresa died at the age of 86 from complications brought on by COVID-19. She was the first royal to die from the disease, though she wasn't the only one infected, as Prince Charles battled the disease with only mild symptoms. Joan Wooden Wooden later appeared as Mona Foote in the film Flawless, where he also performed the song of the same name with the ones. Wooden phased out his Mona Foote identity in his later life, and while he did test positive for HIV, he had an undetectable viral load. That infection didn't appear to be the cause of his death, as he died as a result of complications from COVID-19 in New York City on March 23rd. He was 50 at the time of his death. Africa Cup of Nations Football Tournament. News of Dibango's illness came on his Facebook page, which noted he was hospitalized with an infection from COVID-19 on March 18. His Facebook page confirmed the following week that he passed away on March 24 from the virus at the age of 86. Lucia Bose she fell in love with a Spanish bullfighter during the filming of Muerte de un Ciclista. 
she opted to give up her career to raise a family. She is the mother of famed Spanish singer Miguel Bosé and was a well-respected performer throughout her life. On March 23, she passed away from pneumonia complicated by a COVID-19 infection. She was 89 at the time of her passing. Azalea his work helped to teach the children growing up in the 1980s about ecology, art, design, and many other subjects. He traveled the globe, exhibiting his work and giving lectures. He conducted art workshops with thousands of children and adults, and in 2009, he hosted a drawing class online to help even more people learn his craft. Azale died in his hometown of Rio de Janeiro at the age of 72. He was hospitalized for two weeks for leukemia treatment, and while there, he was infected with COVID-19, which caused complications, ending his life. Dr. Li Wenlang Dr. Wenlang essentially became a whistleblower where the virus was concerned, and he paid for it. On January 3rd, he was admonished by the Wuhan police for making false comments on the internet. He went back to work and later contracted the virus from a patient. Dr. Wenlang passed away on February 7th at the age of 33. He was posthumously exonerated and offered a solemn apology for the admonishment he received by the Communist Party of China. If only his colleagues had listened to him, there likely wouldn't have been any names to put on this list. Don't forget to wash your hands. Keep your distance from others, and remember, we will get through this.